I'm scared every day. Every day. Because you don't know where he's lurking. You don't know where he's at. He's a predator. He's a predator and he's after our children. People need to know the truth. And right now, nobody knows the truth about what's happening in our community. Hello, my name is Robin Frank, documentary filmmaker, adventurer, ladies man, and we're about to take you on a journey, on the hunt for the Michigan dog man. Some say it's a hoax, others just a nightmare. Come on in. My mom's doing yoga, so we gotta keep it down. Oh. I paid a visit to the world's foremost leading expert on the dogman. His name, Joey. He helped fill me in on the horrific details. The Michigan dogman has been described as half man, half dog, and is believed to be the spirit of ancient Chippewa warriors. The first people to have seen the beast were French settlers and fur traders. Franken! You see the little dots, dots around here where people have seen, seen the beast lakeside and even down in Wisconsin I have contacts. Reputable sources. Very, very reputable, yes. My cousin in fact is, is one of the most reputable. I uh, believe he would be. My cousin Tommy, yeah. He, uh, Sounds like it. Yeah, he, well he's seen it six times. Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Joey! It's some, it's Joey! Some, Joey, you want some pizza rolls? No, Ma, I don't want any goddamn pizza rolls. Where were we? Hoping to find a more credible source, I tracked down another leading figure in the dog band law. A cultist, sorceress, and psychic, Matilda Bragbra. The dog man is noble and regal, yet also shy. And pure, and he's brave, and he's honest, and I can feel him penetrating um. my subconscious. Have you seen the dark man? I channel him often, and it, it feels as though he's right near to me. You know the. sensuality of his fur and the caress of his paw pads. I actually keep a little bit of his fur with me at all times. I use it to, to channel him. This bitch is obviously crazy. After my failure with expert and psychic, I was lost, misdirected, alone. Miraculously, I was rewarded for my efforts. A mysterious man contacted me and informed me that he could be of assistance. Are you the real hunter? What do you think, you goddamn animal? Now get in the car, this is back country. Oh, mama! Mama! Holy shit, what is that, man? I was gonna blow that goddamn stop sign. Why do you hunt the dog, man? Revenge. In the Chinese sense. Where are we going to hunt the dog man? Into the woods. That's where the beast lives.
Hunter? Hunter? Hunter! 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 Where did he go? This character Hunter is leading us astray. No pun intended. I thought my hunt ended in failure. I was mistaken. A few days after the occurrence in the woods, someone came forward claiming he was the real dark man. And it was the real dark man. It was him. So I've I've been dark man for thirty years and uh, it's been very hard to do because of all the oppression that I face as the Michigan dark man, because I am the Michigan dark man. I'm half man and half dog. Woof, woof. So the the dog side of me could be best friends with the man side, and the man side is best friends with the dog side. It all works out my favor. My favorite things to do as dog man is that I like watching Animal Planet to look at all the my furry creatures that could be my friends. I love being rubbed behind the veers. It feels so good. And when they rub my belly, oh, it's like heaven, because I'm Dogman. Woof. I'd like to thank Robin Frank for making this movie film about the Dogman. I mean, me. Because the truth needs to be heard about the Dogman. And what better way than to celluloid. <laughs>